Oh, by an adjustment? Well, I guess I'll just put it like this because it will take place in a dark area like at nighttime, so. Better safe than sorry. And let's see. Traditional. Motional. Traditional. Eh, I'll do it this one because if I try and use a motion, I may not be able to move it correctly and I might mess it up and I might cause a permanent consequence, so traditional. Sony presents a game that I probably never played before. And what the hell are some other companies? Until dawn. Okay, hello everybody. This is Anime Game on Taco 95. What I'm playing is called Until Dawn. And for those of you who don't know what this game's about, it's a horror game. And well, it's not a traditional game where you get to fight the monsters or fight the zombies or. Or whatever it is, it's more like you're watching um, a video game horror movie, but at the same time, you have to make some cho choices, and it doesn't need create a vent mode. Like you have to press the correct buttons, you have to correct them, you have to press them quickly, or something bad will happen to the character you're controlling. And whatever choices you end up making, it ends up being bad. It will cause your character that you're controlling to be killed. Like, permanently killed. No wristband, no resurrection, nada. It, they will stay permanent dead if you're not cared for. So, I wonder what this main story is about. Let's go play. The butterfly effect. Tiny flapping butterfly fabrics is wing may cause the devastating hurricane. <laughs> In other words, whatever choice you do, it's gonna cause some major consequences. Yeah, the smallest decision could drastically change the future. Like, there'll be one choice that'll be good or bad. And there's a lot of multiple endings in this game, but I'm gonna go play it one time and whatever choices I make, I am gonna go stick it to it. I am not gonna be one of those people that complain and have to restart the whole game over because that'll be cray cray, like super crazy. So I better choose my actions carefully. <laughs> I wonder who's in the cottage. I think this must be the winter cottage. Okay, and I'm guessing that must be one of the characters for this game. <gasps> uh oh, and there's a killer already. Wait, did I... Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, I can't... Yeah, I'll check on the settings later. Because I know I don't see any subtitles, so I'm sorry if you're not going to be able to hear something. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Diana. I'm making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because you've clocked Diana and Diana's not going to like you for Oh, something tells me they're gonna pull a bad plank on Hannah. Did 
Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay. I still need to move this analog stick just to move around. Uh, let's see. Ho press and hold R2 and then flip it aside. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Uh, an empty bottle of beer. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Oh, wait, Hannah, wait, don't do it. They're putting a prank on you. We should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Uh oh, don't do it, Hannah. Don't do it, Hannah. They're pranking you. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Oh no, Hannah just went off. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go find the others. It's gonna be a waste of time for me to wake up Joss. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay, press the correct buttons before the timer went out, so... Yeah, don't waste too much time on the crit fan mode. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go fast. Where should I go? Where should I go? Yeah, follow the footsteps. That could be Hannah's footsteps. Ah, that was just a Dio's footstep. Oh, I probably went to the wrong way. The touch pass is so Yeah, better go look for Hannah. Yeah, hold L one to one to walk faster. Hello? Hello? She's not even walking faster. She's walking the same way. Oh. Mm, let's see. What is this? A totem? Whoa! What was that? Okay, that was a death totem. Okay, throughout this game, I'm gonna go be getting some totems and let's see. Interval tribes believe that butterflies bring brought dreams and predictions. Each totem foretells the few possible future. 
how you play with whether or determine whether or not these prophecies will come true. Okay, so the one I described is going to be death, so it will show you how the character that I'm playing as will die. Guidance is where I need to, f it will give me some few hints of what to do. Loss, well, I think loss is going to be kind of be similar to the death totem, but it's going to be a loss. I mean, there's going to be some killers who's going to be crying if, if one of their friends are dead. And the danger, well, it warned me about the danger, what's going to happen, or who might attack the characters. And fortune, I think, I think the fortune might give me some, few hints of getting some, some good items or something like that. Uh, oh well. Well, better hurry up and go find Hannah. Whoa! Okay, so okay, someone is being a pyromaniac. Anna. 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 Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. It's so dumb. Uh oh. Anna? Looks like someone is spying on them. Ah, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> ah, she dropped her phone. Oh, oh no, dead end. Yep, and that's the beginning of a tell dawn. Let's see, Dr. AJ here. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. Yeah, that's so true. Control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. There is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice... Will Wait, is he bringing a full vault by telling tell me that I'm playing a game? Hey, personal space. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is... And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay, what's well, so with the creepy smile? 
Something tells me be suspicious. Okay, it's just a farm and a scarecrow with a hook and some cornfield. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it makes me feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think? Uh, I guess. Nah, I'm not sure. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Uh, no, it's not there. I see no house. Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Uh, no, it's not there. Is this threat real, or is it something in your imagination? Uh, it's all in my head! I'm going crazy! Oh, you seem to possess a very active imagination. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We run out of time. Okay, Sony Computer Entertainment presents a game that I'm just barely playing. Until dawn. Yeah, if you guys feel uncomfortable with the song, feel free to fast forward or something. tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after 
what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip seriously we'll never forget. you have to say it out loud yes <laughs> and i don't think it's a great deal for all you teenagers to go back to the mountain man i mean I mean, there's a flame door guy out there, and well, I'm not really sure if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Um, well, anyways, I guess we'll just find out eventually. Okay, Blackwood Pimes. Okay, Chapter One Friendship Ten Hours Until Dawn. Hmm, huh, I wonder. I wonder how many chapters does this game have? Oh no, there's a killer right there! Okay, that's Sam. She's Hannah's best friend. She's adventurous, diligent, and considerate. Uh oh, someone's well, stalking her already, and I think she's gonna get killed already. Okay, train 102. That is 9:02 p.m. Okay, just keep walking, keep walking, like and act and act like nothing's happening. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, pay attention to the shiny thing. Oh, what? Gates busted, climb over. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Yeah, I guess I have to climb over. Uh, I'm gonna go quick. Uh, jump. Someone is stalking her and she doesn't have a weapon to defend herself. Oh, so cute. You hungry? Huh? Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Ah! I wasn't even moving! It's okay. That's it. Come on. Okay, let me try again. Maybe I could get a second chance. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, all I need to do is leave the control down in a good safe spot and make sure I don't move. I mean, when I... 
There might be some situation where I'm not supposed to move, like, for example, if I get attacked by a bear or something, I could just fall down dead and make sure, pretend I'm dead and I need to make sure I don't move. Or something similar like that. Now, what's this? <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, these are the. That's an information board, and. Yeah, I did explain. Explain a few minutes ago what those totems are, and let's see. Yeah, the death of the black butterfly, they predict someone's death. Red photons are dangerous. Events brown will photo a tragedy that will affect the fence, and yellow will give you the guide of visions to help and guide. And the fortune or the white butterfly that gives you dreams of good luck and good fortune. And I found a totem already, so. Ah, come on. Okay, there you go. So I need to grab it. And then flip it over. Okay, that was guidance, so... Hmm, see. I don't know what was that about, but... Maybe the... Yeah, the future is very uncertain, but... I could... What if I could do, based on my choices, maybe some of the prophecies will come true or not, so... I really gotta be careful what choices I'm gonna make. Chris? You here? Of course, this lock. Let's see, oh! There's a pack pack. Not in the bag, are you? He better not be then he'll be dead. Uh see Yeah, close the bag. The butterfly effect appears when I when my actions change the narrative of the game. Okay, that's Chris. He has a crush on Ashley. Humanist, protective. What the meta quote mean? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Okay. I'm guessing that door will probably be unlocked once I'm done with this, whatever he's gonna show me. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Maybe he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh, now I'm playing as Chris right. now. Here goes. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to learn how to shoot. Okay, it says use the white analog stick to shoot and... Oh, and press R2 to press a button. And, oh yeah, and this give me some time limits, so if I don't shoot something in time, then maybe something bad's gonna happen to me. Wow, nice shooting tips. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Yeah, let me just practice some more shooting. Well, 
anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Hey, look, it's the same score I gave nuts to early. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot that creature. That creature's too innocent. Okay, now let's go to the cable car. I'm kind of wondering. I wonder what would happen if I were to shoot the squirrel in the first place. No, I guess I'll just... Oh, what's this? Clue found. Are you crazy? So. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Yeah, I'm going to take a guess that I want to post to it. I think it's the same flame door guy that Beth and Hannah saw before they fell, fell off the cliff. Yeah, this is a... Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. Yeah, super creepy. Well, anyone who bought a mountain is considered to be rich. Hmm, this must be the camera. is more If the other people are coming to the mountain, but I only no, see you two guys. Stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the training bra, I mean, who knows? 
you could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Ooh, he said the... No way, that's not the title of the game, but still, I think he said the theme of this game. Okay, and who's this one? Oh, that's Jess. She sees Mike's new girlfriend, trustworthy, confident, and irrelevant. I have no idea what that mean. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> Whoa! Hell? Jess! Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Nah, you guys gotta stay trapped in there. Now mine. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna put... Give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come yeah. on, Jess, you can tell us. You totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Uh, did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Okay, and this girl is Emily, she's Mike's ex-girlfriend, and turns it with sourceful Persophias. Mm, I don't know what that means, I'll look it up later. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt is Emily's new boyfriend, he's active, motivated, and ambitious. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Yeah, somebody tell me that Emmy's gonna be bossy to Matt, Matt, so... <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah, it's super weird. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Okay, that's Mike, Emily's ex-boyfriend. He's intelligent, driven. And there's a same word that I couldn't pronounce. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, let's see. Come on, we're all friends here. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trail. Right. See you, man. 
See ya. Right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, uh. I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Uh, okay, I'll go. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horses the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank yeah, you. don't get lost. Don't get caught by the stalkers. Whatever, boy. Okay, and who am I playing now? Who's that? Okay, that's Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. She's four die in and I think the A one means like she's smart in school or something. Hmm. Nothing over there. Whoa, hello. Uh oh. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Okay, it's Emily and Mike. What they're doing talking? Seriously, Matt? Is this gonna be a lot of jump scales and throughout this game? Sort of scary, but not like for real scary. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mislead. It's busted. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just... What? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh, I'm gonna put a no. No, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. Alright. Uh, sure. You say so. Yeah, I didn't tell Matt that Emily is cheating on him. Oh, man, I think I made a bad decision. Oh, well. Let's see, check a book. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, go with Snowball. I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> okay, go! Oh! <laughs> Great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! oh ah. Hey! Oh, okay, dodge it. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do, so I wonder what happens if I don't hit the board. Don't 
calling it my favor then your worthy opponent miss jessica the snowball queen okay that sounds vaguely dirty my lady uh, grab a snowball no kissing allowed oh ho, ho. okay okay you're really gonna get it what am i gonna get well i can think of at least one thing yeah but you'll have to wait until later we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay, who's in that cave or cart? Huh, is that doctor again? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Well, man would me most Okay, turn the page. Yeah, I'm afraid of clouds. I mean, I can't, I can't be near too many people. I mean, I'll figure out if I get near the sea. Well, I'm afraid of. Well, I'm a little bit afraid of heights, but with drowning, yeah, I don't want to drown. Uh, I don't like the rats. The snakes are cool, but I don't like the rats. Ugh. Okay, I'm afraid of both guns and knives because if I get killed by either one of them, it's gonna hold really, really bad. So, guns are most scary. Ugh, I don't like the rats. Whoa. Okay, well. Uh, I'm not really scared of neither one of them, but. Uh, I guess I'll just choose the clown. Uh, well, I'm already used to gore because I play a lot of mature, violent games. And crows are not really that scary, but. Uh, I'll just pick the gore. Hey! Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Yep. There's definitely going to be a lot of jump scale Trust throughout you. this game. Speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Uh, spiders are not that creepy. I could just kill them off easily, but I still don't like the rats. Ugh, I don't like dirty needles. I mean, what if they have the deadly diseases inside? Like, A's. 
Uh, well, neither of them not scary because I could just kill them off in the games. Ah, I don't like dogs. Dogs, all, all they do is just bite your he hands off and feet off. Yeah, I'm still afraid of dogs. This is very interesting. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Wait, what? Why are you saying privacy until dawn? I just been starting to play. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of PC on until dawn, like after you, I finish some short chapters, so when that happens, I'll cut that part off during, during my gameplay because what's the whole point of the recap if I'm already playing the game? I mean, I don't want to waste too much of the fail time with the, with the lousy recap, so whatever happens, I'll just... Delete it off for my gameplay feel, so... Just gotta remember when the recap happens. Well, before I move on with the next chapter of Until Dawn, I'm gonna go stop and take a break. This has been a good introduction of Until Dawn, but... I don't think the scary part of this game won't happen until a little later because... When you barely play, they're gonna, they're gonna give you tutorials of how to play or what to do and how you're supposed to hold up and press the R2 button while before the timer runs out or press some correct buttons in time. It's just a little heads up so you could know what to do before some scary part happens and that involves your kill. Whether or not you could end up causing the characters to die or live through the scary events. So. Until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95.